Okie dokie, you can do this. No more slacking off. You need to keep up with assignments and tasks. New year, new me. You do realize that time is a construct and dare for me. Uh, can you just, can you not, Justin? New year, new me. Let's do this. Hey, cupcakes. Happy new year. It's puppy lover 863 here. And oh, according to my non-existent watch, it's time to open some mail that you guys sent from my P.O. box. So we usually start with a quick honorable mention of the senders who sent me fan mail but didn't request me to open them on camera. So here is a quick honorable mention and just to confirm that I did receive your package. Don't worry, there will be more to come. There's just a lot of fan mail I have to go through and there's not enough time for one video to go through all them. Bear in mind that some of these packages and letters came from a long, long, long while ago and I'm doing my best to catch up on as many as I can. Not to mention that since we are in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic, I don't have access to my P.O. box at this point. I sincerely apologize for any delays if you've recently sent me fan mail and I don't open them right away. I'm doing my best to catch up with as many as I can. And I've already mentioned this in a few past videos, but in case you aren't aware, I have graduated early from college! Well, my undergrad college, of course. Which means I'll be able to go full speed ahead with LPS2 full time these next couple of months in 2021, and we'll be able to hopefully have a more consistent video schedule. That being said, let's make like a light switch and flip the switch. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> Without further ado, let's make like a lamp and flip the switch. Voila, I am human. I was gonna snap, but it's gonna be really embarrassing. Uh, I'm 22 years old and I still haven't figured out how to snap. So if you guys can show me how, write it down in the comments. All right, so this first envelope has some notes, as you can see, for Daisy as well as for fellow, some of the fellow cast members. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the switch again so that way they can open their notes. All right, there we go. Justin, Layla, Phineas, check out the notes you got. Oh yeah, I got mail. I'm coming, I'm coming. Awesome, I can't wait to see what mine says. For Daisy, I love you. Aw, I love you too. To Justin, you are funny. Uh, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I like to think I'm classically trained in the art of comedy. So I appreciate your comment, my lovely cupcake. For Layla, you are pretty and so is Daisy. Aww, well I always appreciate a compliment. Daisy, did you hear what they said? I did, that was so sweet. <laughs> you know what, even though I can't see you right now, I think you are pretty as well, inside and out. To Phineas, I like Pac-Man too. Oh really? Well, maybe you could be my, <clears throat> my player too sometime? I mean, unless you're taken or you're busy or you already have a player one to keep up with, then Forget what I said. <laughs> uh, it's great to know that we have some things in common. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like they really like their notes. Thank you so much for thinking of the cast. They really appreciate it. Now let's get to opening this envelope. Got it. Oh, wow, okay. So she sent me two blind bags. Oh, so this is what came out of the first blind bag. It's a cute little doll. I think this reminds me of those Lala Loopsie dolls that uh, they used to sell back in the day. Do they still sell them? I don't remember. But she is absolutely adorable in her orange dress. And then the second blind bag. Oh, I think it's an LPS. So this little guy right here, I think it's a lamb. <laughs> you know what's actually funny? When my dog Scotty, he's a miniature poodle, when he was a puppy, we used to call him a little lamb just because of his white coat and his fluffy exterior. So he kind of reminds me of that right now. By the way, I noticed that a lot of you guys have questions in my letters. Some of these questions I've already answered in the Q&A page on my website. So if as I'm reading your question, if I don't answer them, it'll probably be already be answered in the Q&A page. So I'll link that in the description below for your convenience. Dear Puppy Lover 863, I love your vids. The vid that I love is Carpool Catastrophe and hashtag Daris. My name is Katie. Well, hello, Katie. For Daisy, why do you want to be a script writer? Well, being a storyteller or a writer in general is something that I've always dreamed to do since I was a young pup. A lot of that kind of stems back to my grandfather. He loved telling stories and I don't know, I guess I just kind of picked up on that 
on such an early age. And then I started watching tons of notable TV shows and films and I would be so impressed with the storytellers writing for those movies and TV shows. So I would go online and just Google movie and TV show transcripts and that's kind of how I was able to practice. From there, I kind of started writing my own stories, though they weren't as significant as they are now. They weren't that great. Um, but that kind of all led to the interest that I have today, and lo and behold, I'm writing scripts for the Puppy Lover 863 channel, so there you have it. For Layla, why don't you like Brussels sprouts? Hey, I'm not the only one that likes Brussels sprouts, and there's actually a reason for that. I went ahead and did some research on why some people can't stand the taste of Brussels sprouts and broccoli, and apparently there's people that are born with a certain gene that when they react to compounds in those vegetables, well they're called cruciferous vegetables, that includes Brussels sprouts, cauliflowers, and spinach, um, they're, they're usually met with a bitter taste. So those that aren't born with the gene can't taste that bitter taste, while the rest of us who are born with that gene can, which makes it taste awful and we repulse at that bitter taste. For Justin, when did you meet Phineas? Oh, I don't think I've actually told that story before. Well, even though it seems that Phineas and I have been buddies since kindergarten, the truth is, we first met in back in the good old days of 2012. So yeah, pretty recent. We actually met when we were cast to be the co-stars of a little show called Club LPS, which is now succeeded by hashtag dare us. Even though we hadn't known each other for as long as you might think, we bonded really well on and off the show and, I don't know, a friendship just slowly but surely clicked from there and we became best buddies to this day. For Destiny, do you live with Daisy and Layla? No, I don't live with Daisy and Layla. I'm their cousin and even though they're twins, they also live in their own homes. I used to live with a French roommate called Apolline. We were roommates in college as she was an exchange student, but she's been long gone as she moved back to her home country a long, long while ago and I am living on my own as a single pup ready to mingle. If anyone wants to stop by and be my roommate in the studio, hit me up. And finally for Phineas, why do you like Pac-Man? For as long as I can remember, I have always been partial to retro games. And I don't know, there's just something about a yellow circle gobbling up dots and eating up blue ghosts that just gets me jived up for a good game. It's like this, this feeling in my heart that I can't quite put into words. You're in love, you know it. <laughs> Shut up, Justin, this is my question. Question answered. <laughs> Thank you for your questions for the characters, and there's a drawing on the back, and it's of Layla! Layla gets a little shout out in this drawing, and I see you've asked me to color it in, so I will go ahead and do that, and we'll insert the finished product right over here. Thank you so much for your letter and for these little blind bag surprises. I really appreciate it, Katie. Our second letter came in this gorgeous green envelope, so let's have a look-see. <gasps> and it's on pink paper! <gasps> okay, so here we have this beautiful drawing of Daisy. This is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Dear Puppy Lover 863, my name is Winnie and I'm a big fan of your videos. I hope you like my drawing. I did, thank you. My favorite series is hashtag Daris. Tell Justin that I think he is very funny. Oh, don't worry, I will. Or I think he might have heard it already. And I see you've left some dares for the cast and I am actually going to go full speed ahead on creating a fan mail edition of hashtag Daris. That's right. So if you've left some dares for the cast, I will be using this in a fan mail episode. So keep your eyes peeled. Our next letter comes from Minneapolis. Okay, so we got two pieces of, oh no, 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 wait, scratch that. We got three pieces of paper and I don't know which one to open. Let's just grab a random one here. Okay, we got a full letter. Dear Puppy Lover 863, I love your videos and I think you are super funny and talented. I made a drawing too in there. They are not that good. I'm working on my drawing skills right now. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure it'll be beautiful either way. Here are some questions. What is your favorite movie? 
that changes every day and obviously I have a list of favorite movies that would be too long to answer right now but my favorite at the moment would have to be the newest Pixar movie Soul. Oh my god it was another one of those tearjerker videos that like Wait, did I say videos? It was another one of those tear-jerking movies that like made me question like, what is life? What is our purpose? Like they really went there in that movie. What inspired you to make LPS Rail Secrets? Well, at the time I was obsessed with the show Wizards of Waverly Place. And I think you may have noticed that some of the earlier spells that were cast in season one were kind of based on how the spells were cast in rhymes, like in the show. I don't know, I've always been a fan of the fantasy genre. And I thought that making this series would be a great way to just kind of experiment and like play around with the special effects that came with my camera at the time, as well as some of the special effects I found online. And the rest is history. Are you and Layla twins, sisters, or friends? Oh, I guess that question was meant for Daisy. If you're referring to me as a person, I am an only child. Unfortunately, I do not have a twin in real life. Though I will say that Layla is named after one of my cousins. Um, so in a way we are related in real life, but not in the way that you would expect. But Daisy and Layla as the characters that they are, I've made them as fraternal twin sisters. Oh, and you also mentioned your YouTube accounts, LPS Cupcake and Star Potato Light. And you also have a TikTok called Shadow Plays 789 So I'm going to go ahead and promo those right now. Go check out these accounts if you haven't. I'll be checking them out as well. I love you. I love you too as well. And I see you have a drawing on the back. Okay, so here it says random drawing, but I see you have a Daisy and Layla over here. Looks like Layla has just stole a cookie from Daisy and she's upset about it. That would be me if like my dad stole my cookies. <laughs> That's a mood. Random potato. And over here, oh, that's a drawing of your LPS Raven Fireball. Oh my gosh, that is my reaction to these drawings. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. But it's not over yet. We still got two more pieces of paper to open. Oh, we got more drawings. Here's a marker drawing of Daisy. And then on the back, we have Layla. And then the third piece of paper, I guess that's supposed to be a comic based on the Royal Secrets twins. Why is this girl even my sister? <laughs> I feel like that's something the Morway sisters even would do to each other. That's a great one-liner. Thank you so much for your drawings, your comic, and your lovely letter. I love them all so much. And keep up the practice with the drawings too, girl. I love to see your potential as an artist. Next up, we've got this package from New York covered in tons of smiley faces and hearts. Okay, so we've got two pieces of paper and a box, but I'm gonna be polite and open the letter first. The first one says, can you open this on camera? Thank you. You are more than welcome, Cupcake. Dear Puppy Lover 863 hi, I'm Grace and I'm 12 years old. I love watching your videos. They are so funny. I really want an LPS tube channel. You inspire me so much. Aww. And in your LPS Valentine's Day special, where did you get the sunflowers? on Justin and Layla's table. They are so cute. Well, thank you. I found them actually in the miniature aisle at a craft store called Michael's. They sell a ton of miniatures in the miniature aisle. Um, I think that's different for every store, but I'm sure if you could look up on their website on Michael's craft store, you type in miniatures, you should be able to find not only the sunflowers, but a ton of other cool miniatures that I use in my videos. It's my dream to have an LPS channel though. I need to learn how to film. Go for it, girl. Usually sometimes the best way to get acquainted with making a channel and making films in general is to teach yourself about these things. Do research online, pick up inspiration from your other favorite YouTubers and LPS tubers and figure out what works best for them. Another question, what type of camera do you use or suggest if you don't mind me asking. Oh, I don't mind. I currently use a Sony Handycam, but as for what I suggest, it ultimately depends on the type of camera that you're looking for. This one was more acquainted to uh, what I needed in a camera, but instead of suggesting a camera, I highly suggest doing your own research as well. And even if you can't afford a camera right now, there's always older models available that'll still work 10 times as well as the cameras that currently exist. And if cameras aren't necessarily your thing, you could also just film from your Samsung or your iPhone. And because the cameras nowadays on phones are becoming much better than 
uh, when I was a teenager back in the day. You can also do your research on other LPS tubers Q&As and just see what cameras they use and figure out what works best for you. And I believe there are also some YouTube videos available that do camera tests if you don't feel like going to the store, testing it out, and then returning it if you don't like it. Well, thank you so much for your letter, Grace. I can't wait to open this package, but I noticed you also made a drawing of Daisy underneath a giant Daisy. I love the art style of you creating a giant head in proportion to her body. That is adorable art style you got there. Okay, so let's see the crafts you made. Wrapped beautifully. Oh, oh, this is so, no way. Oh my gosh. She made my icon out of dry clay with the daisy. And like, this is like almost an accurate representation of what my icon looks like in terms of colors and like style wise. This was so creative of you, Grace. I love it. And then this is the little Shopkin cupcake. Let's see, it's got yellow frosting with blue and pink sprinkles and then a pink base. I don't usually collect Shopkins, but this one would have to be one of my favorites. And I mean, I'm a little biased because it's cupcakes, but thank you so much, Grace. And then these were the necklaces that she made. We have one that's pink and we have a l these are all my favorite colors too. We have like the monotone colors. We have one that's just pink, purple, blue, and silver or white, sorry. But then we also have some that are two different colors, like a purple and blue and a pink and blue. These, I will definitely for sure be using them in my videos. So thank you so much, Grace, for your creative gifts as well as your lovely letter. I love these all so much and I wish you the best of luck in creating your own LPS tube channel as well. I believe in you, girl. Our next letter comes from Kindle. And on the back they wrote, good luck, thanks. I think I'll need it with all the letters I have to catch up on. Another letter written in pink, oh my goodness. <gasps> no way! Oh my gosh! We have a drawing of Daisy that says achieve your dreams. That is everything that Daisy stands for and I love it. Oh, and don't give up. Can't forget that. Dear Puppy Lover 863, I'm a big fan. My name is Kindle. Keep up your great work. Thanks for inspiring me. Well, thank you for inspiring me with this letter and as well as this beautiful drawing of Daisy. She's gonna love it. Our next envelope comes from, I think this is from LPS Cameron, I think that's her name on the back, with a drawing of Daisy and this graphic design of her username, if that's her username, if it's not, I'm sorry. And of course on the front we've got both Justin and Daisy, <laughs> Justin with the thumbs up though, he would totally do something like that. Two Puppy Lover 863, I got a lot of questions. Okay, well, I'm ready for this. Phineas, why you love the Pac-Man game? I think Phineas already answered that. Um, here's the time marker in case you missed that. What's your least favorite? My least favorite LPS, my least favorite video. Well, least favorite LPS, I would say the Gen 3 pets. LPS weren't nearly at their prime in that generation. Um, they could have done a lot better. Some of them were cute, but maybe Gen 3 isn't really my favorite. And I noticed that you have a drawing of Daisy over here. Oh my God. And they even have color drawings in the back. So she drew my logo, Daisy, as well as Destiny and Layla. She drew the entire trio of dachshunds plus my logo here. Thank you so much for the drawings and for the letter, Darcy. Alrighty, our next envelope comes from Abigail from Washington. More, okay, we have multiple pieces of paper. We got, is that a sticker? Or no, wait, this is a, she gave me a stick on tattoo, I believe. It's snack pack with a unicorn and a rainbow on it. Ooh, I gotta try this out one of these days. Okay, I'm, first things first, I wanna read out the letter. So firstly, she gave me a list of dares, which I will do at least one of them for the fan mail edition of Hashtag Dare Us. What is, oh, I think, is this a keychain? Hold on. So this is a little Paris keychain, I believe, that she sent to me. I don't know if there's a letter in here, but if there is, no way, oh my gosh. I think the first and second lines may indicate that these two got married and this is their wedding day. 
I'm not entirely sure. Abigail, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments below what this means. I could really use more context. But I love the way you rolled it up like a special message in a bottle. And this little chain of a miniature Eiffel Tower, this is so cute and it's perfectly Lil's Pet Shop size too. I could probably use this in the background of a video. Let's have a look-see. Looks like a drawing. Oh, somewhere over the rainbow. And I see you've asked me to color this in, so I will go ahead and do that as well as color in Daisy here. And over here will be the finished product. Hi Puppy Lover 863 my name is Abigail and I've been a fan of you for so long. And I hope you get this, don't worry, I did. I don't have any good LPS except one, that's just a collie, but also it's fake. There's some questions on the back. Well, thank you. I will for sure be saving those dares for the fan mail edition of hashtag dares. And oh, you drew the little logo on the front. And I'm gonna go ahead and read these questions now. Favorite color? Purple, obviously. Your favorite video of yours? Right now, it would have to be TikTok Cafe. I'm biased, it's the most recent one. And then the rest of these questions I've already answered on the Q&A page on my website as well as the About Me page and like I said I'll link those down in the descriptions below and you will get your answer there. She wrote, thank you for reading. Well thank you for taking the time to put together this letter and this drawing. I appreciate it so 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 much. Alrighty, so I'm halfway through the letters now but it's almost midnight here and I need to get some sleep. So we're going to do a bit of time traveling and when I clap my hands it'll be the next day, so... Thank you, past me! We have arrived in the future, it is the next day. As you can tell by my different clothes, I'm wearing a plaid top. But now we're gonna move on to our next envelope. Here it is! Ah! So this is the first little um, piece of paper that popped out. I believe it is supposed to be a stencil. It's not focusing right now. I remember when I was younger doing something similar, but with a snowflake pattern. Let's go ahead and rate this letter. <gasps> oh, okay, correction. It's Daisy as a dachshund horse pony hybrid. And Layla being like, how famous is she? Ooh, ooh. Hi Puppy Lover 863 I'm Grace AJPW. This is my first fan mail. Oh sweet, welcome! I love to watch your videos. I have only five or more LPS, lol. Picture on the back, yes, I saw that. Anyways, Daisy is an awesome mascot. My favorite episode of Hashtag Daras is all of them. <laughs> you want questions? I got some. Oh yeah, I'm ready for this. Anyways, you're the best YouTuber, so put this letter on a vid. What was your third favorite LPS? Well, I've already mentioned that my first favorite is Layla, of course, as well as... Oops. <laughs> okay, start over. <laughs> Well, I've already mentioned that my first favorite is Daisy and my second favorite is Layla, but I never told you guys my third favorite and that is Justin. Of course, Justin comes after Layla. He's one of my main four characters. I just love his goofy personality so much. What was the number of your vids? If I were to round those numbers up, I'd say I've made 280 videos so far. 300 if you count the ones I've deleted or privated. Um, I'll insert the number of the total number of videos I have right now. Next up we have letter number two from Grace. Hi Puppy Lover 863 I saw a video with fake LPS and it's called My First Pet. Fake LPS? Yep. My first pet! <laughs> well you know there's nothing wrong with purchasing fake LPS. A lot of manufacturers that make fake LPS nowadays are one, a lot cheaper, and are becoming closer and closer to looking like the authentic LPS, and two, are actually great candidates for customizing, so you don't have to worry about ruining an authentic model. So no judgments if your first LPS or your mascot is a fake LPS. P.S. Can we be friends? Well, you're already my delicious cupcake. Thank you so much for your letters and your beautiful drawing of Daisy. This is so beautiful, and I appreciate your kind words. Our next envelope comes from Tennessee. Dear Puppy Lover 863, I love LPS so, so much. I'm Millie, by the way. You are the best LPS tuber and I have some questions. I'm part of the cupcakes. Alrighty then, let's get to the questions. Are Daisy and Justin still a thing? Yes, they are. In fact, they are due to get married real soon. Um, they just got engaged in LPS Tube Day 2020, but I'll let you guys know when the wedding's happening. Why are you the best ever? Oh, well, I have a question for you. Why are you the sweetest ever? 
And it looks like she made a drawing of both my mascot and her mascot. I think that's Falter. Sorry if I mispronounced that. But that is one of the most beautiful butterflies I've ever seen. Oh, apparently this is her favorite LPS. And I see you wrote down your Instagram username, so I'm gonna go ahead and shout out your Instagram. I have a little promo up here. So thank you so much for your letter, Wolf Magic LPS, and I absolutely adore your marker drawings of the butterfly and Daisy. Our next piece of fan mail comes from Avery from New Hampshire. I love the stickers, by the way, especially the fish ones. Let's have a look-see. Oh, and we've got a giant fish sticker on the back. Ooh, it's in 3D. That feels so cool. So we have three pieces of paper. The first one is the letter, and then we have picture number one and picture number two. I'm gonna go ahead and be polite and start with the letter. Dear Puppy Lover 863, my name is Avery. This is my first fan mail letter slash pick. Well, this seems to be a first time for everybody today. I wanted to say you are the best LPS tuber ever. You make me laugh a lot when I watch your videos. You make me want to continue collecting LPS. Yes, go for it. You're never too old for LPS. Continue your great videos. I have a few questions for you. Well, thank you you so much for your lovely words and I will get to the questions. Number one, where do you get your props? Well, the majority of the props I use come with the sets that I purchase. Um, I'm pointing over there because I have the ginormous LPS set over here. But other props that don't come with my LPS, I'll typically make myself or I will go to Michael's, as I mentioned before, I go to the miniature section and purchase props from there. But if you aren't able to acquire those miniatures, there are a lot of DIY videos available on YouTube where you can make your own props. But you'd be surprised how many props you can make with just one bottle cap. Will you make more of it? Absolutely. I have tons of video ideas with no signs of stopping at this point. Will you do more LPS hashtag Daris? Yes, I will be doing more hashtag Daris. Like I said before, the next hashtag Daris will be a fan mail edition, so I'll be compiling all of the dares that were sent via fan mail. P.S. There's a picture in the envelope. Well then, let's move on to the first picture. Thank you so much for your lovely letter, by the way, Avery. Aww! Okay, so this one, this looks like Destiny. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks like a cute little doggo and she asked me to color it in. I will go ahead and do that and we'll insert the finished product right over here. Now for picture number two, what could this be? <gasps> There's more? Oh, so this looks like this is you in real life. We've got Layla and Daisy over here, and then Justin and Phineas off to the side. Why am I not up there? Oh, and it looks like you wrote down two last questions. Do you have any actual pets, like in real life? I do. I have a cockatiel bird named Lucky and a poodle named Scotty. Will you do a face reveal? <laughs> there you go. Well, I'm really happy I was able to answer your questions, Avery, and thank you so much for your letter and your drawings. I appreciate them. Our next envelope comes from Lacey from Illinois with a beautiful butterfly stamp over there. Let's go ahead and open this. I don't have much time because my battery's about to die real soon. I have to recharge and then refilm, which will probably take another day. <sighs> it's the first real struggles of being a YouTuber. Ooh, okay. Oh, so this little guy popped out. So this looks like a little magical bear with wings. I don't know what brand it's from. Let me know in the comments if you guys know, but it is so cute and I love the glitter and the transparent blue. That is absolutely adorable. Hi, I'm Lacey. I have my own YouTube. It's called LPS Cosmic. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and shout you out, LPS Cosmic. And I see you wrote some dares and I will be for sure be adding them to the video. And you made a beautiful drawing of Daisy, complete with her markings and her little flower. And on the back too, we got some more drawings. So this is me, I guess. Over here is a cute little kitty cat. And then last but not least, we have a little cat waving in the corner. Thank you so much for your drawing as well as your letter. I'll be sure to check out your channel as well as saving the dares for the next dare video. Hey everyone, so we're at day three of opening fan mail. Yeah, I know, it's so disappointing when your filming has to be cut short and spans out over several days, but that's... that's the reality and struggle of being an LPS tuber. Alrighty, here's our next envelope. Oh, okay, so first I gotta show you guys this adorable drawing. That's me, and then I think that's supposed to be her favorite LPS. I love the different colored eyes here. 
To Puppy Lover 863, I want you to know that Melody is not my real name, but it is the name of one of my LPS. And the name is the one I'm using for this letter because I don't want you to know my real name. That is perfectly okay. Daisy is not my real name, but my alias and my mascot's name. So no shame in that. Like if you want to use an alias, that is totally fine. I love your videos. And this is actually my first letter to a YouTuber. I don't have a YouTube channel, but when I get one, I was wondering if it would be okay for me to make my own LPS Tube Day award ceremony. Absolutely, and I probably should have addressed this ages ago, but you are absolutely more than welcome to make your own LPS Tube Day award ceremony, awarding your very own set of nominees and winners. It's just like how the Academy Awards, aka the Oscars, aren't the only award show out there. We got the Grammys, we got the Emmys, we got the Annie Awards, Golden Globes. So if you want to make your own LPS Tube Day award ceremony but are unsure about it, you, you have my full permission. Go for it. P.S. If you read this letter, it made it across the world. Well, this letter just made my whole world go around. I don't know if that made sense. Also, I use scented pencils, but I'm not sure if they will still smell by the time this reaches you. Hmm, really? No, sorry, I wasn't able to smell it, but if I could imagine what type of scent, you use blue ink, so maybe like blueberry, grape, but thank you so much for putting the thought into this letter. I really enjoyed reading it and hearing your words. And best of luck with your future channel, and I can't wait to see your version of the LPS2 Bay Award Ceremony. Our second to last piece of mail in our lost... Lost? <laughs> our lost... <laughs> okay, rewind. Our... <laughs> Our second and last piece of fan mail and our last envelope comes from Cherish from North Carolina. Are you guys excited? They say yeah, they're not in the mood to chat. Got one piece of paper and a ton of words to read. Oh, okay, so on the back she drew some of the cast of hashtag dare us. We're famous. I know that sis. Party time. Aw. And I see you've asked me to color this in. I will, and here is the finished product. Voila. Tear Puppy Lover 863, I love your hashtag Daris series. My favorite episode from hashtag Daris is episode 15. Ooh, that was a fun episode where they're all on a cruise ship. My favorite character is Layla. I have a few questions to ask and dares. Well, I'll go ahead and answer the questions and I'll save the dares for a fan mail edition of hashtag Daris. Who's your favorite LPS tuber? All of them. <laughs> Who is your favorite LPS? Daisy. There you go. Why did you choose Daisy as your main character? Well, she was actually the very first dachshund in my collection. Well, she wasn't my first ever dachshund, but she was the first one this mold, and at the time I was just fangirling over LPS Popular. And then I decided to make her main character of Behind the Scenes after making the three-part miniseries The Life of Daisy, and the, the character kind of just slowly developed on its own. She was originally a side character in my old skit, The Stolen Sports Strings. I'm glad I was able to answer your questions, Cherish, and thank you for submitting your dares for the fan mail edition of Hashtag Dares. I really appreciate it. Now you guys know I like to save the best for last. This is our last piece of fan mail, this gigantic Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse package. It says the package came internationally, so I have no idea where this is from, but they really wanted me to open this on camera. <gasps> okay, oh wow. Here's a preview of what's on the inside. Dear puppy, I hope you heart this package. I'm sure I will. Oh, wow, okay. <gasps> Wait, I've never seen these before. She sent me these LPS stamps. I have never seen, like, especially like miniature stamps. So opening it, it's blank, but I'm gonna go ahead and test out both of these. So this is the one that has the skunk on it. Okay, let's try the other one. So not bad, the purple ones are a little faint, but the pink ones are working like a charm. Either way, I appreciate the thought. I'll for sure be saving these stamps in case I wanna work on any crafts. Ooh, maybe I can put this, like put these stamps in the custom. That'd be really cool. But this opening's not done yet. There's still tons of more. Ooh, this is a pretty pattern. So this is the first one she wants me to open. It has a Penny Ling sticker on it. So she made me this Puppy Lover 863 sign. <gasps> Wait, because this building right here, you see this is the studio. This is the building I usually use for the studio. Now I can hang this 
in front of the biggest Lil's Pet Shop sign, so this could be like the Puppy Lover 863 Studio sign. Oh my gosh, thank you so much! Here with a pepper sticker, she's put in some drawings and some other stuff made with love. Oh my, you guys are, you guys are so thoughtful. I still don't know who this is from. I need to thank someone for this. Whoa, 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 what? Okay. So these were the little goodies that popped out of the bag. So this is, I guess, one of the drawings she was talking about. This is like an ice cream cone with sprinkles. Beautiful, delicious. Um, we have this Pusheen Cat uh, booklet that says, I love you, Puppy Lover 863 Love you too. I wish I knew your name so I could thank you um, directly. And then she made me this... I forget what these beads are called, but she made a little popsicle out of these beads. I love the texture. And then she also made this LPS poster with some of the um, Little Pet Shop characters from the TV show, which is so cute. And then we have this other booklet from... Pick Me Pops. I think I've heard of them before. Hi puppy. Well, hello to you as well. And then we also have this little envelope to open up. I wonder what this is. Let's slide this out. Oh, this is for the cast. Okay, this might have spoiled what's uh, left in this box, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and open them and then we can introduce the cast to their gifts for the first time. Okay, we got another piece of paper over here. I wanna go read this first. This is probably the letter I was supposed to read. This, oh, this is really cute. So the header, she put Puppy Lover 863, but in stickers and a little hashtag there because of, I don't know if this has anything to do with hashtag Dara's, but this is really cool. Dear Puppy, Hi, I'm Glitter Posies and I'm 12 years old. I'm so happy to be sending mail to you. Well, I'm so happy to be reading your letter and seeing your gifts. I love watching your videos. You're such an inspiration. I look up to you so much. Aww, you are funny, creative, sweet, and amazing. I made you some gifts and drawings and I really hope you like them and I also have some questions for you. Well, I'm sure I'll love whatever gifts you send, but I'm gonna go ahead and answer these questions first. If you could travel to anywhere in the world, where would you go? Well, unfortunately, most of us can't really travel due to COVID, but if I could travel anywhere in the world, my dream places to visit would probably be like London, England, Paris, or Switzerland. Um, I haven't been to Hawaii. That's another place I wanna go to. If you could only eat and drink one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, for eating, I have mentioned that my favorite food is ramen and my favorite drink is strawberry acai refreshers from Starbucks. So if those were the only two things I could eat and drink respectively for the rest of my life, I'd be set. And finally, what is your favorite video you have ever made? I've already answered this in a previous letter, but my two all-time favorites would have to be mistakes and misunderstanding. Thank you so much for reading my letter. I hope you enjoy everything and keep doing what you're doing. Love from Glitter Pawsies. Thank you so much for your letter and I'm sure I will like the gifts that you sent. Without further ado, it's raining streamers! Oh my gosh, Glitter Pawsies, how long did it take to make you these streamers? Oh my goodness, and these pom-poms. Oh my gosh, it looks like a fun pinata just exploded all over my table. I don't even know where to look first. But in this pile, I found this infinity necklace sticking out. I don't know if you guys remember from like six years ago, there was a trend on Instagram where we had to like hold our LPS and draw an infinity sign with Sharpie on our wrist, but this is a great throwback to that. I don't know if that was what you were going for, but that's what it reminds me of. Thank you so, so, so much. This is, this is beautiful. Like so thoughtful of you. Okie dokie, but without further ado, let's have the cast come in and open their packages. Wow, this feels like a second Christmas. I know, right? Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> a hamster! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Look at its little blue wig! Oh, Aww, you're such a cutie. Oh, my turn! <gasps> a rose! It smells gorgeous and matches my eyes too! So pretty! Oh, wait, can I wear this? Oh, uh, I think that's a little too big for you. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's a little big, but I'm sure it'll make a nice centerpiece in my dining room. Ooh, me next! Ooh, get away from me! Oh, oh, it's a ladybug. I thought you were a spider. Ha! I told you I'm not the only one that's afraid of spiders. Ugh, quit it, Layla. But this ladybug, on the other hand, can stay. Ooh, get it off me! 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 
Oh, get off! Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, that's better. Uh, he's not coming off. Aw, that means he likes you. Oh, is that so? Well, I'm gonna show him around the studio and see if I can find a place for him to stay. He loves it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in here. <gasps> cool! I got a rose too! It's even my favorite color! I'm gonna put this on right now. Wow! A rose looks great on you for a daisy. <laughs> totally! It matches my outfit too. Daisy, look! There's one more package left for you! Oh! How did I not notice that before? I wonder what it could be. <gasps> no way! Are these all for me? A purple necklace, two flowers, and a golden purse shaped like a radio? Wow! Wow, she has really good taste in fashion. You totally should let me borrow those flowers sometime. I mean, <laughs> if you want to, that is. Oh, you bet I'll be sharing these gifts with you. Thank you so much for your beautiful gifts and lovely letter. And thank you so much to everyone else who sent in a letter and or a package. There's gonna be more fan mail letters to come as I have a lot of letters and packages to catch up with. But if you still wanna send me fan mail, I want you to know that there is going to be a significant amount of delays as I am unable to access my PO box at this point due to COVID. Even though I can't physically visit my PO box at this time, it is still open for anyone who wants to send fan mail and the address will be in the description below and I will have it right up here. Like I said before, there's going to be a significant delay due to COVID, so if I don't read your letter or package right away in the next fan mail video, just know that it's coming soon. Just let me know on the envelope or on your package whether or not you'd like me to open this mail on camera. Even if your letter or package doesn't get opened, I will still be giving out an honorable mention just to confirm that the letter or package has made it safe and sound. If those directions weren't clear, I will also write them down in the description below for your convenience. And just a reminder that you are under no obligation to send fan mail. If you can't send anything at this time, that is completely okay. Just your guys' support in the comments, liking and subscribing is honestly more than I ever could have asked for. That being said, thank you so much again for all your continuous love and support. I love you all so much, my lovely cupcakes, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!